It's Friday the 5th of June. We've had some gorgeous weather, but look what we're wearing now. Sweatshirts, jumpers, we've been out walking the dogs in coats. We are about 600 feet above sea level, one of the highest canals in the country. And boy do we know it. It is blowing a gale. And look what we've gone and done. Lit the fire. You were out walking the dogs, Fran. I got so cold, my hands went numb, Raynaud's came back, I got hailed on. Two days ago, I was sitting outside with a glass of wine and a strappy dress looking at the view at 10 o'clock at night. And now I'm sitting here by the fire with a cup of coffee. <laughs> We but don't care though, do we? It's cosy, it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that arch? What's up, old fella? Mm. Time to leave our lovely mooring. We've been there now for four nights and uh, lovely as it is, we've got to move on. We're heading down about five miles now to Bugsworth Basin. Uh, I'm gonna spend a few nights there. Hopefully the weather's gonna stay dry. It's been really cool and wet this last week. And uh, if it stays dry, I'm gonna get some more painting done, get, the, get it finished, do some walking, and uh, then head back this way because the locks are open a week tomorrow. So that's Tuesday. Uh, so we're going to head down, get through the locks and get off this canal. So it's been lovely. It looks like herself has got something to say. Oh. Yes, we've got a swing bridge to get through. You need the uh, BW key. That key. Hurry up. <laughs> oh, friends managed to open the gate. Despite the efforts of the dogs. Tough one. Easy. favourite places, the Swizzles Sweet Factory, and you can just smell it, can't you? Smell the sugar and the, uh, what's the word? Kali, what do we call it? Kali. Sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> in Birmingham, for some reason. And the sugar dust over the side of the building. Yeah. Millions of love hearts made every week. Millions and of broken. Hearts broken. <laughs> Your heart's broken, man, because you can't I go can't in get in there, no. <laughs> I love Swizzle Sweets, as you may remember in the video last year.
projects that have moved on in a year's time. Yeah. Uh, quite a pleasant little cruise, has it not? Lovely cruise. And Lovely. profitable. I found myself a little beer glass. <laughs> There's not many days I come back from a walk with nothing, is there? <laughs> <laughs> Might be weeds. We've uh, found bulls this week again. More bulls for the dog. Dogs. Was she going to say something? I was going to say nothing. Well, nothing say to nothing say. then. It's some lovely boats though, haven't we? We have. Yes. We did more up here, but we've decided to move. <laughs> as soon as we moored up, there were loads of goslings, loads of ducklings, and loads of people feeding them, and we can't let the dogs out of the boat when it's like that. And so, you can't walk anywhere because of the goose poop. So Rich has had a little walk, and somewhere up there, at the end, there's a little spot with nobody about, so that's where we're going. It is so beautiful here though. The pink flower in the wall all along here is red valerian. I've never used valerian but it's uh, one of those calming herbs that you can use to help you sleep and relax you. There's loads of it. So I might have a little bit of research going on here. So here we are at the end of the line at Bugsworth Basin. We're dead chuffed, aren't we? We are. Great spot. And uh, somewhere for us to sit out on her, her chairs. Well, there's somewhere for me to sit out on the chair while I watch Rich paint the boat. We've got 20, <laughs> 48 hours here, haven't we? Yes. I think we'll pinch another day and nobody will mind. It's, it's not busy, busy. As long as it doesn't get crowded, Tony, there's loads of space. So we'll ask if we can have an extra day and um, get a bit of painting done. It's lovely. Really, really, really nice place. Really, really, really. Really, really nice place. Someone's going to get a slap. Oh, we're off for a walk to the post office in the local town, Whaley Bridge. And uh, before we go, I'll just show you what we've done to the boat yesterday. Painted the rubbing strip all the way along there, and then I decided I'll paint, all, repaint all the blacking all the way along this one side. So that's looking really good, really pleased. All we've got to do now is just uh, move the boat over to that side and paint the other side the same and then that is the painting bar the roof done <laughs> but look at the weather slight precipitation stopping me from painting that's terrible isn't it friend I can't yeah, paint. yeah i think i did see him leaping around the boat last night <laughs> trying to do some sort of rain dance <laughs> zippity doodah <laughs> i think the uh, song was <laughs> But that's all right, we've always got things to do. We're going to go and post some parcels. I'm going to weave this more, afternoon. More weaving to be posted, Fran. This one's going to Texas. Texas, yes. Yeah, they like it, don't they, in um, America? Yeah, so that's great. It gives me more incentive. I've got lots of ideas, so that's this afternoon. And uh, I might even, I did think yesterday I'd bring the weaving loom out. It was so lovely here, so quiet. 
um, yeah we are yeah. we are on our own just in this little arm here right let's do this Bugsworth Basin, it's more or less an inland port, finished in the late 18th century. They brought limestone down from the hills on tramway carriages and filled the boats and took the limestone away and they also burned limestone on site for lime for agricultural use and uh, other building uses and the atmosphere must have been acrid with smoke. Absolutely incredible to think that uh, this beautiful area on the edge of the Peak Forest would be uh, just thick with black stinking smoke. And in 1808 they brought down enough stone from the hills locally to fill 2,000 narrowboats. Unbelievable. Where are we off to now, Rich? Chip shop. We've found a chip shop that's open. This will be the first bag of chips we've had in ten oh, weeks, over ten weeks. Ages. So we're going to go and isolate ourselves on a bench somewhere with a bag of chips. <laughs> really good. <laughs> This is what happens first thing in the morning. The dogs are allowed to sleep on the sofa once the grey blanket is on there. Archie now knows it's time to get off. Archie, what are you doing? It's morning time. It's time to get up. He is not impressed. Thanks again for watching. Give us a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. And also thank you to all our Patreons. We really appreciate every penny that you give. And if you want more information, have a look in the description below. Thanks very much. See you thank next you. time. Cheers. Bye. Bye.